Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Audio Thoughts with Prince on Prince and Mila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms Instagram, Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook, our Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook group, our Prince and Mila Entertainment TV. Welcome to another edition of Audio Thoughts with Prince on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Today is the 11th of uh, October 2021. So, guys, Zimbabwe is in perpetual election mode because of disputed poll outcomes analysts have said as political parties start to run visible campaigns ahead of the 2023 contest both the ruling party ZANPF and the mainstream opposition MDC alliance have launched mobilization campaigns as they seek to upstage each other in what could be a hotly contested election a ZANPF a faction loyal to president Emma Sumnangagwa has been organizing structures to endorse him as the party's presidential election candidate amid growing factionalism in the ruling party. Blessing Vava Crisis in Zimbabwe Coalition Director said the ZANPF factional fights have thrust the country into election mode. Election results in Zimbabwe have always been contested and have largely failed the credibility test, Vava said. So, ZANPF is continuously on the ground through orthodox and unorthodox means to influence electoral processes. Equally so, the opposition has been reactive and hence creating the election ring vicious cycle. The factional fights within ZANPF has also plunged the country into a perpetual election mode. So, even internal party processes that take place after each and every election create another cycle of election ring within political parties. During the late former President Rupert Mugabe's last days in power, cabinet ministers and other cabinet officials will spend time attending the NPF youth rallies that were meant to prop up factional loyal to then uh, First Lady Grace Mugabe. At one of the campaign events named Youth Interface Rallies, Mnangagwa was allegedly poisoned. Mugabe also used one of the rallies to announce his intention to fire Mnangagwa, a threat he carried out but incidentally sparked a chain reaction of events leading to his ouster in November 2017. Player based commentator F. Ngobe said the consistent nature of the country's election results often meant the fights went on continuously through other platforms until the next election. Under normal circumstances and in normal countries, once an election is held, the nation moves together and rallies behind those who have been elected. The focus shifts away from the election to governance, from the ballot box to the state house, parliament, and city halls. But Zimbabwe is not a normal society where democratic rules are adhered to, Mube argued. From election to another election pays lip service to the bread and butter priorities of the poor, but focuses on trying to destroy the opposition. In such a situation, you can't have a self-respecting opposition party being loyal to an outcome of a rigged election. In the circumstance, very little attention is placed on collectively dealing with pressing economic and social challenges. ZNPF has been accused of dining with the Douglas Monzola lead MDCT in the fight for the heart and soul of the MDC alliance led by Nelson Chamisa allegedly to destroy the opposition. Monzola recently laid claim to the MDC alliance name. It is because our politics is too contested. The reason why it is so contested may be due to issues like unemployment which has led to the rise of political entrepreneurs of all types and kinds. People are investing time with the hope of earning a living out of politics, South Africa-based scholar Kanyele Mushoshwa said as he tried to explain why the country was always in election mood. This divided their attention and all these political entrepreneurs seem to be pushing divergent and divergent visions of what should happen. If they were competing or campaigning through service delivery, maybe it would have been better, but they are competing through empty promises sometimes divisive. A new political culture that puts emphasis on service is needed to ensure nation building and the economy does not suffer. Analysts said, Vava said the civil society had a huge role to play in resisting manipulation and doing away with polarization. There is a need to do away with a political polarization that has largely worked against efforts towards national building. He said, the above challenge is a call for CSOs, civil society organization, to mobilize citizens to towards national building and ultimately a better Zimbabwe for all. Citizens must be united for a common cause, 
and this certainly means coming together regardless of political or religious beliefs. Mube added also free and fair elections in the governing party that are days to democratic norms and standards will bring the people together and minimize the over focus on elections. Independent election observer missions released a number of recommendations after the 2018 harmonized elections, but there's been little movement towards implementation to ensure the 2023 elections pass the legitimacy test. Economy commentator Stevenson Lamini said the economy has suffered too much over the years owing to the country's toxic politics. As he urged business to invest in political risk assessment strategies ahead of the next elections, as we move towards elections, markets will react, Lamini said. Business needs to invest in political risk assessment. It needs to place a finger on the political pulse of the country and not base their long-term strategies on the prevailing political environment and should invest a lot of actual services to anticipate any changes of the political risk in our economy. Otherwise, we can never hedge away the political risk, especially in a country that is characterized by high political risk like our country. Business will do better by adapting a model of anticipation, the political shocks that may occur and not base their long-term strategies on the pre-election excitement and policy initiatives. So that's the latest year. Uh, political analysts are saying that uh, Zimbabwe is always on the election mode. And uh, after elections, other countries, they move on together. Like, election appear, a uh, winner, winner, joa, joa. Now let's move together. President Dr. Ramunese, Shaku Famba, Jidaro, 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 until the election, until the next election. But in Zimbabwe, it's always like, election appear, Momunananga, story election mood. Hey, this, that, hey, that, that, and this. Pangua, Yakuti, the country supposed to move forward. Nikan get more to get on my shore. Tungara Matugurpa, one position. I mean, this had been happening since uh, the early 2000s. We heard it with MDC Alliance, the Amog and Changira, Yakuti Nika. I am of Vilayambo Famba. I am what I'm going to pay the pub because we always talk about the election. Each and every year, it's always about the election. It's always about the election, my campaign. And again, naive violence in politics is always one of the main issues that uh, my reforms are. I have an acquit to a quota. But in the time elections are 2023, you know, we shun away from violence and let's have a free and credible election. And I mean, I think at the same time, we need to build Zimbabwe. All of us, we need to build Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is not 2 or 10 or 12. Zimbabwe belongs to everybody. So we need to have time of national development. Not to go guarantee election mode like now. We are in 2021. Every political party, Agubudikira at the moment, they are launching their manifesto. Other people are already on the ground mobilizing the people. I mean, for real, election article in two years' time, I understand. But Tatum election mode, this is what people are saying with Zimbabwe, is always in election mode. Shrufu Ambassy. And so guys, this is the audio thoughts with Prince on Prince United Semi TV. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell not to miss any of our new uploads. We upload each and every day. And we're always in an election mood. It's because of our political instability in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a high risk political country. This will also affect the economy of our country because in a case now we are stabilizer. Like what is happening at the moment, inflation is because of the political tension. And so we need to implement those electoral reforms. I got a in 2018 after my elections. And otherwise, Changu da matangu mira pa same position yoyo. And so guys, this is the road to 2023 elections on all the thoughts with Prince on Prince Minute Same TV. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Remember guys to turn on the notification bell not to miss any of our new uploads. We upload each and every day. And, uh, and uh, follow us on Twitter. We are there on Twitter at uh, P Mila ENT. And uh, we are good Twitter and we will follow back. And uh, in your uh, elections, in your you're gonna be talking a, a lot here on this channel. So you need to be part of us. You need to join our Miller Entertainment TV exclusive club and uh, for our road to 2023 elections. And uh, yes, we'll be focusing each and every uh, election campaign with so many political parties who are gonna be participating and uh, in 2023. So guys, I thank you very much for listening and watching all the thoughts with Prince on Prince Men Entertainment TV. Moana Zoraganaga, bless up.